Yes, good afternoon, dear children, good afternoon, parents. Once again, my name is Teacher Doreen from Light Academy. I would like to thank you for whatever you've been doing in this lockdown. Stay home, stay safe, and everything will come to an end. So, once again, I'm here with a lesson in uh, Primary 2 Literacy B. That is the SST part. And today we are going to look at a very new topic that we have not yet tackled about. So, today we are going to look at the cultural practices. Cultural practices and values in our community. Cultural practices in our community. When I talk of community, I think we look at a community and I say a community is a group of people living and working together. So, in this community, we are going to look at the word cultural practices. When I talk of cultural practices, these are the things that people do in the day-to-day -day lives. Cultural practices are the things people practice or do. Practice or do in their day-to-day -day life. What do people do in their lives? Every day people do different things. They practice different activities. These are what we call the cultural practices. Culture, that's what I mean. The cultural norms, the cultural things that people go through in their lives. So we're going to look at examples of such uh, cultural practices. Examples of cultural practices. What are these things that people practice in their lives? For example, we are going to look at number one, we are going to look at the dressing. Different cultures, different people have different ways of dressing. They have different ways of putting on. For example, we have the Maganda. What do the Maganda? Put on. What are they known for their, as their cultural dressing? This is what we call the cultural practice. The Baganda mostly put on gomesi. The women who put on gomesi. Every function they go to, they put on gomesi. That is their traditional wear. That is their cultural wear. Their cultural dressing. So, the Uganda are well known for putting on gomesi and these are the women and for the side of the men they put on kanzu. These are their cultural wares, the cultural practice. For example, when they have uh, wedding ceremonies, uh, introduction ceremonies, what are they supposed to put on? A pure Uganda is supposed to put on a gomesi if, he's a, if it is a woman and a kanzu if it is a man. This is how they are supposed to put on. Such that they can be respected in that way. They can be given that honor by virtue of their dressing. When it comes, uh, let us look to another, uh, to another uh, type of, of people. We have the Banyankore. What do they put on? The Banyankore put on Busuti. Busuti, or they can put on Mushanana. This is for the sake of the women. Then when it comes to the men, the Banyankore also put on Kanzu. 
This is how they dress. So, number one, what makes people important and do what they are supposed to do in their day-to-day -day life? Number one is the dressing. Another example of cultural practice, example number two. Example number two, I have greeting. This is a daily practice. Children have to practice it. All people have to practice it. Everyone has to practice it in the community. Everyone has a way of greeting. For example, the Baganda women, they kneel down when they are greeting. The Banyankore, they kneel down when they are greeting, especially when it is the women. But when it comes to the men, they have that special way of hugging each other, especially the Machiga. They hug each other, greet in, an, in a, a forceful way. That is a way of greeting. That is their way of expressing their culture throughout in the community. So, greeting is also another practice that is done day to day in our lives, in our community. So it is also a cultural practice. We have the way of eating. Example number three, we have food. In brackets, let me say the eating. Different cultures have different way, different types of food. They call them the staple food. For example, the Baganda, they like matoke so much. They like etoke. That is their staple food. So that's a, 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 a cultural practice that for them, when you find them eating the matoke, no wonder that is them. When it comes to the Banyankwe, when it comes to the Bachiga, when it comes to the Banyoro Batoro, the Akalo, the Millet. Mm? So, different languages, different cultures, different societies have a way of doing it when it comes to the food. So, that one makes it a cultural practice, the way they eat, the different eating habits. So, uh, we have another cultural practice, we have the dances. How do they do it when it comes to the dancing? When it is the Baganda, what, how do they do it? They dance. They, there is a way they shake their, their, their bones. There is a way they shake their waist. When it comes to the Machiga, there is a way they jump. So, they have different ways they behave in the community. They have different ways how they do it when it comes to the dances. Every culture, every tribe has a way of doing it. So, this is also another example of the, the cultural practices. And very, very many other cultural practices. The way they do it in the introduction. The way they do it when it comes to the weddings. For the Batoro, for them they don't put on shoes when it comes to the introduction ceremonies. The bride doesn't put on shoes at all. She has to do all her function without shoes. That is them. So, different societies, different cultures have a different way of doing things. So, these are some examples of the cultures, the cultural practices that we do in our day-to-day -day life. So, then we also have uh, the child birth. The child birth. Different cultures have a way of doing it. Different societies have a way of doing it. When a child is born, what is done? Celebrations are seen. People are seen jumping up and down, celebrating, thanking God for a new member of the family that has been added unto them. So, when it comes to the child birth, there is a way they name the children. Different societies have different people have of that name the newborn babies in the family. Others are named by their fathers, others are named by their mothers, others are named by their grandparents. So it doesn't have uh, any obligation in that. So this, when it comes to the child birth, every parent has a responsibility on the way of doing it. Every society has its different way of doing it. 
Ah, another cultural practice is marriage. This one I had earlier explained it. Different marriages, different societies have a different way of doing the marriage ceremonies. We see that the Baganda have a way of doing it. They come carrying their the, the gifts that they brought to the bride's home. They come carrying them on the head while dancing, while celebrating. But when it comes to the other cultures, especially from the Toro culture, the, the, the people, the, the Bako, the in-laws are not supposed to carry those gifts. No. They enter at once with them. They don't carry those gifts on their head. So, Different ways of marriages, different ways of how societies do it, is what we are looking at here today. Here we are just mentioning the examples of the different, the different cultural practices that are in our societies. So, as I had told you that when it comes to the dressing, the Baganda put on the Bomesi the, 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 for the side of the women, and then the men put on the Kanzu. When I, I look at the Banyankole, Batoro, Banyoro, all this category, the women put on Usuti or Ushanaga, and then the men put on the Kanzu. These are examples of some dressings that different societies have in their communities. So, we have looked at the greeting and we've said we've seen that some societies greet while shaking hands, others greet while hugging, others greet while kneeling down. It depends on which society you come from. It depends on which culture you're following, you're born in. So when it comes to the food, we have looked at the different types of food that these people eat. We have seen the Baganda like so much the Matoke. We've seen the Banyoro, the Batoro. They like the Kalo. Mm? When we go to other societies, they have different types of food that they really enjoy in their societies. So, when it comes to the eating, when it comes to the food, that is it. When we, uh, when we look at the Basoga, the Basoga like Lumonde so much. That is one of their best dishes. That is one of their best meals. So, when it comes to the food, as, as I had earlier said, every society, every culture has its way of doing it. Ah. So, when it comes to the dances, I have already told you, when it comes to the Watoro, they have the Entogoro. Hey, those are some examples of the dances that those societies enjoy, that those cultures enjoy. When it comes to the childbirth, I have told you that different societies have different ways of naming the newborn children. They have different ways of celebrating a, a new member of the family. When it comes to the marriages, I have told you there are some cultures where the bride is not even seen. They cover the bride the whole face throughout the function. It is only the bridegroom who sees his bride. So, different cultures, different societies, different communities we have in our day-to-day -day living. So, here I want us to do some simple, simple exercise and then we shall see what is next. Exercise number one. What are cultural practices? Exercise number two. Mention any four cultural practices in our community. Exercise number three, draw number A, a woman In Agomesi, yes, you're going to draw a woman in Agomesi, and then B, you're going to draw a man in Akanzu. That is what you're going to draw. And then
exercise number four, we're going to write their cultural wares. You're going to put for me number A, what do the Banyakore women wear? You put it for me there. Number B, what do the Baganda men wear? You put it for me there. Otherwise, thank you very much for being part of my lesson. Remember to stay safe. Remember to love yourselves. Remember to wash your hands. Remember to cooperate at home. Don't hesitate to like our Facebook page. Don't hesitate to do this work. Let your parent correct you. Let your guardian correct you. And all will be well. Thank you very much. May God bless you.